Senior White House officials met with Mexico's president yesterday, and Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert will run for a seat representing a more conservative district next year. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met Mexico's president yesterday to talk about immigration. Federal agents have encountered about 2.5 million migrants at the southern border this year. NPR's Jasmine Garst says the Mexican leader expressed his views to the U.S. delegation. President López Obrador has said he's willing to work with the U.S., but yesterday he reiterated his belief that deterrence alone at the border will not work. He wants the U.S. to address the root causes of immigration, like poverty and politics. He's been calling for the U.S. to ease sanctions on Cuba and on Venezuela, Venezuela being one of the countries where many of the migrants are coming from. NPR's Jasmine Garst reporting. Ukraine says a commercial vessel in the Black Sea has struck a Russian mine, injuring two crew members. NPR's Joanna Kakissis reports from Warsaw that trade routes through the Black Sea have become more dangerous since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine almost two years ago. The State Border Guard Service of Ukraine says a bulk carrier flying the Panamanian flag was heading toward Ukraine's southwestern coast, reportedly to pick up grain sent down from Ukrainian ports on the Danube River. Both Ukraine and Russia have mined the Black Sea, but Ukrainian authorities say the vessel hit a Russian mine. A fire broke out on the upper deck. The captain ran the ship aground. Russia has threatened ships in Ukrainian waters of the Black Sea since July, when Moscow pulled out of a safe passage grain deal brokered by the United Nations. Ukraine has found alternate routes, including its river ports on the Danube, to transport grain. Joanna Kakissis, NPR News, Warsaw. Fighting continues today in Gaza as the Israeli military moves into Palestinian refugee camps in central Gaza. Relief agencies say there's still no safe place in Gaza for Palestinian civilians to go. Colorado Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert has switched her candidacy from the state's third congressional district to the fourth. Aspen Public Radio's Carolyn Giannis has more. Boebert won re-election in 2022, beating Democrat Adam Frisch of Aspen by only 546 votes, one of the closest races in the nation. So far, Frisch, who's running for the seat again, has outraised Boebert by more than $5 million. In a statement announcing her candidacy change, Boebert said she was confident the 3rd District would stay Republican and took a swipe at Frisch's wealthy hometown. And the Aspen donors, George Soros, and Hollywood actors that are trying to buy the seat? Well, they can go pound sand. The 4th District leans much more heavily conservative and has been held since 2015 by Ken Buck, who's retiring at the end of his term. For NPR News, I'm Caroline Yanez. You're listening to NPR News.